The theater, incredible. The controversy, warranted. But all in all, Saturday's tilt between Washington State and Stanford featuring the edgier seat tension that makes college football so incredible. But while there was the pick six called back and a Stanford fumble that was clearly missed, it all adds up to the Cougs wondering what could have been. Sarah Wheeler has more from Martin Stadium. Well, the only word that comes to mind here is heartbreak. Washington State coming up one play short of beating a top 10 opponent for the first time since 2003. But instead, Stanford beating the Cougs for the eighth straight time. Now, afterwards, the guys visibly upset. They expected to win this thing, and when they didn't, they were left disappointed. Offensively, we didn't play well the first half. Uh, yeah, I thought we did some good things defensively, and uh, anyway, um, Came down to a couple breaks, but, uh, you know, it was there for us to win. We didn't win. Disappointment. Not so much in the kick, but I think just ourselves for leaving plays out there to the point that it had to come down to that. Uh, it shouldn't have come down to a kick. And, uh, I think we just left plays out in their field. We're in business of winning. And if we lose, we lose. No one said, no one's saying, praising anyone right now. So don't ask us questions about who's praising who because we're not praising anyone. We should have won. One game isn't going to define us. We uh, we would love to have this win. Um, you know, we want to win every one. However, you know, we have to go back and uh, work. We can't let Stanford beat us twice. So with that loss, really goes the chances of a Pac-12 North title for the Cougs because they fall to 3-2 and two, while Stanford improves to 6-0. and L. But no rest for the weary, Will, because Washington State going to be back in action next Saturday when they host Arizona State right here at Martin Stadium at 1230. Reporting with the Cougs in Pullman, I'm Sarah Wheeler, KXOY4 Sports.